ham on rye? No. I'm not programmed to eat for another 15 minutes. You better have I forgot the mustard again. Mm. Hey, look at this. Pardon my glove. Oh, thanks. What are you doing, Master? What is it? Oh, this is a heat test chamber, Jeannie. We're trying to find out how much heat a human body can stand. Yeah, you're not supposed to eat. Excuse me, Jack. How long have you been in there? Four hours and 30 minutes, Dr. Oh, Ellis. that's enough. Yes, sir. We're bringing you out, gentlemen. I don't want them to bring me out. This is the first good steam bath I've had in months. If you enjoy this, Master, you can do it in your very own living room. Goodbye. Oh, very well. I will see you at dinner. Huh. How are you feeling, Major Nelson? Fine. Good. Fine. And you, Major Healy? Well, the sandwich was a little dry. The sandwich? Oh, the tube sandwich with the yips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're assigning you to a special mission, Major Nelson. Oh, the Apollo project, sir? I, uh, <laughs> no, uh, not quite. Uh, NASA is approved the making of a documentary film, and uh, they're going to uh, bring in a movie expert from Hollywood. Oh? Oh, really? Well, what does that have to do with me, sir? Well, you're going to act in the film. Oh, oh ah, here we are. This is your director, Mr. Alan Kerr. This is uh, Major Healy and uh, Major Nelson. How do you do, sir? A star is born. <laughs> well, I, I think you have the wrong man. Uh, I've never done any acting, Mr. Kerr. Alan. Alan. Won't be necessary for you to do any acting, Major. I want the real you. The whole idea is to photograph an average day in the life of an average astronaut. Your, your home life, everything. My, my home life. That's what I said. <laughs> well, I, I really don't think it would work. Well, uh, why not, Major? Well, I'm not an average astronaut. I, actually, I don't have a uh, family. Major Nelson, uh, General Brindley has asked us for full cooperation. Now, uh, since Mr. Kerr has been kind enough to come out here from Hollywood and lend his assistance, it's uh, up to us to make everything as easy as possible for him. There's nothing to worry about, Major. As long as you have me behind the camera. I, I do think that perhaps we ought to get a, just a little more thought. Did you send for me, sir? Oh, uh, yes, Major. Well, I kind of thought you'd be sending for me. Well, here are the results of the uh, heat chamber test. So uh, take them to the lab for me, yes, will you? Was there anything else, Major? Well, I heard you were filming a documentary, and I've had a little uh, acting experience, and I thought you might be needing me. Oh, were you an actor, Major Healy? Well, I played King Lear. King Lear? O on Broadway? Horace Mann High School. Horace Mann High School. <laughs> we're making a documentary, Major. Uh, we don't need actors. Well, well, if Roger would like to do this instead of me, uh, I have no objection. Why don't you both do it? You work as a team anyway. And I could help Tony out. Well, that's settled. I'm not too familiar with the movie techniques. Uh, could you answer a question? Shoot. What's Anne Margaret really like? <laughs> I'd like to uh, spend as much time as I can with you, Major. I really like to get to know my actors. Oh, uh, yes, I can understand that. Splendid. But how about dinner tonight at your house? Uh, dinner tonight? Uh, you know, tonight really is not the best. Why not? Time. We're having Turkish leftovers. I've never had Turkish leftovers. That sounds intriguing. Oh, mm, uh, Major, I think it'd be a very good idea for Mr. Kerr to see you in your home environment. We're going to shoot you there, too. I believe it. But I, we're, we're redecorating. The whole place is a you mess. You decorate your house? Are you kidding? What was your perfect? It'd make it seem more homey. I see it's seven. Homey. It's seven. Yes, right. Uh, would you all excuse me? I have a, a, a pressing engagement. <laughs> Yes, Master. Uh, hello, Jeannie. Look, I want you to mess up the house. Mess up the house? I just finished vacuuming. Uh, look, this is important. I have a very important guest coming, and, uh, uh, well, the house has got to be messed up for him. I, I want you to make it up look terrible. Oh, well, if that is what you wish. It, well, don't overdo it. Just make it look as though I've been redecorating. Yes, Master. And try to look inconspicuous. Inconspicuous? Yeah. Do the best you can. <laughs> 